I'm Sam Vaknin, and I'm the author of Malignant Self-Love, Narcissism Revisited. There are many myths about Mohandas Karamchand uh, Gandhi, known as Mahatma, Great Soul Gandhi. He was born in 1869 and assassinated in 1948. Gandhi was not born to a poor Indian family, as he liked to give the impression. His father was a Dewan, chief minister of Purbandar, the capital of a small principality in Gujarat, in western India, under British suzerainty. He later become, became the one of Rajkot. Gandhi married at the age of 13, and he was a mediocre student. In his adolescence, he defied his repressive environment by petty thieving, meat-eating, smoking, and professed atheism. Until the age of 18, Gandhi spoke very little English. His main language was Gujarati. Gandhi wanted to be a medical doctor, more precisely a surgeon. His family forced him to study law. His first political activity was as a member of the executive committee of the London Vegetarian Society. Gandhi went to South Africa because he couldn't find work in India. He was a poor lawyer in both senses of the word. He suffered from stage fright. The Encyclopedia Britannica describes Gandhi's days in South Africa. Africa was to present to Gandhi challenges and opportunities that he could hardly have conceived. In a Durban court, he was asked by the European magistrate to take off his turban. He refused and left the courtroom. A few days later, while traveling to Pretoria, he was unceremoniously thrown out of a first-class railway compartment and left shivering and brooding at the station. In the further course of the journey, he was beaten up by the white driver of a stagecoach because he would not travel on the footboard to make room for a European passenger. And finally, he was barred from hotels reserved for Europeans only. These humiliations were the daily lot of Indian traders and laborers in Natal, who had learned to pocket them with the same resignation with which they pocketed their meager earnings. Gandhi was about to sail to London when he read about a bill to deprive the Indians of their right to vote. He decided to stay. It is in Johannesburg, South Africa, that his first civil disobedience campaign was staged, not in India. Civil disobedience became his hallmark, and he called it Satya Graha. Gandhi's life was at peril many times. He was almost lynched in Durban as early as January 1897. He was assassinated in 1984, uh, 48. Gandhi was not a pacifist, nor was he anti-British. When the Boer War broke out, he organized a volunteer corps of 11,000 Indians to defend the British colony of Natal. In 